where Tony the International Tiger Rosser meets Eric Melton in his comeback effort. Van Camford and Joe Corley were there to call the action. Ready to go with action in round one. Eric Melton will be in the blue with the gray stripe and Tony Rosser in the black with the gold stripe. Rosser is one of the few fighters that we've seen come into the ring with a cummerbund that he has to remove before fighting. There's the official bow and there's the bell action in round one. Melton told me earlier today that he felt that he was a lot stronger than Tony Rosser and he felt that his sparring partners were all as fast as Tony Rosser. So he did not feel that he would have any problem with Rosser's speed. On the other hand, I talked to Rosser, and Rosser says, I'm just going to stick and jab, stick and jab and move. And when the time's right, he says, I'm going to take this guy out. Now, that's, that's the pre-fight predictions by the two fighters. Rosser came from a point of uh, literal obscurity about a year and a half ago, went down to El Paso, Texas, and upset Cliff Thomas to win the world lightweight title. He got everybody's respect in that fight, and we, when he went back down there and lost the title to Cliff Thomas, he maintained that respect. Rosser was knocked down four times in that last title defense, but stayed right there with T Cliff Thomas losing a close decision. Eric Melton showing you just a moment ago how he feels he is stronger. He went in on Tony Rosser and started to bang at the body because he says, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on his body. Let's see if that's the case. Obviously, he's got to catch Melton. I mean, he's got to catch Rosser, but Rosser is very quick. Right now, Melton's got to get some more kicks in. He's only got six in the round. Tony Rosser is moving out of the way of those kicks, but Melton is definitely trying to land them hard. Looks like Melton is probably going to have a little trouble closing the distance on Rosser as quickly as he'll need to. Both fighters taking it easy here in round one. There's the end of round one. Seconds out as we're ready to go with round two. Tony Rosser in the black, Eric Melton in the blue. Melton's people want him to get in closer on Rosser for good reason. Rosser almost nailed Melton with side kicks to the face in three different kicks in round number one. I had Rouser winning that first round 10-9 by virtue of the better kicks in round number one. Rouser fighting right leg forward using that right jab effectively and that right side kick that you saw right there. Nice round kick to the face then by Rouser. Good block by Melton with good counter timing on his left hook. Melton really trying to dig those shots into the body. Melton is trying to move in, and as he does, he's getting caught. So if he's going to take that punishment moving in, once he does get inside, he better do some damage, Joe, because he's taking punishment as he comes in. So once he gets inside, he's got to be more effective. Rosser seems like he may be experiencing a little bit of ring rust right now. He has not been in the ring since he fought Thomas last year. Good right hook there by Eric Melton. Stung Rosser. Rosser's hanging on a little bit. Winding down here toward the end of round two. Melton is really unloading with the power inside. Melton is looping his punches a little bit. If he could go straight in, it'd be more effective as we end up round two. Don't be left in... The bell to start action in round three. Tony Rosser in the black, Eric Melton in the blue. 
This is a six rounder in the light welterweight division. Tony Rosser fighting overweight. Beautiful double kick in by Rosser. Looked like a round kick that he turned into a side kick. Caught Melton in the face with it. Melton showing a slight abrasion over the right eye, Joe. He's inside and he's trying to be effective. Melton really trying to dig power on inside. Uh, Rosser acting now like he's ready to mix it up. As we mentioned at the end of round two, Melton loops his punches. It'd be much more effective if he would throw the punch right straight out. Nice counter timing then by Rosser. Good right hand over Melton's shoulder. There's the right combination by Tony Rosser, the best puncher in the fight so far. There you see the Rosser hand speed. Even though he punches a lot with his arms, he punches you a lot of times, and if he puts them together fast enough, can drop you. Rosser has 10 knockouts in his 23 wins. in with those big looping left hooks digging to the body that can't be effective he Melton. got a good left hook to the rib cage Melton definitely going for power that was a front kick side kick combination in by Ross a front kick into the body side kick back to the head those are the kind of things that are so so difficult to do Effective. There's the bell ending round three. A good round for Tony Rosser. There you see Melton missing the kicks, but the good timing then by Tony Rosser on the counter. Rosser showing hand speed in that second round. Melton trying to go for power. Back to live action now. Here we go in round four. Tony Rosser in the black, Eric Melton in the blue. This is a six rounder. Melton's going to have to pick up the pace and be more effective if he wants to pull this one out. I've got Rosser leading by two points at the end of three rounds. I've got him 30 to 28 unofficially, winning two rounds, 10-9. Second round, I had dead even. Well, now there you see Melton in where he wants to be. He wants to be close. He's getting a warning from JT Will, but when he got in close, he was not effective. You can see Rosser tying him up. Well, you can hear those kicks slapping in there by both players. The gash over the right eye of Eric Melton does not look any worse. The blood is not dripping into the eye. He still has good vision. A good straight left by Tony Rosser. Remember, Rosser is scheduled to meet Jerry Golden Boy Trimble in Atlanta on June 30th, and he says he's going to come in there to give Trimble a fighting lesson. Trimble, one of the faster kickers in the history of the PKA. Rosser says his only reason he's fast is he's not caught anyone as fast as Rosser. I think down round four of the sixth rounder. It's like their heads might be colliding quite a few times as, Ro as Melton closes the distance, long distance, with a hand technique. He's really starting to show the damage. I believe he's bleeding from the nose. There is the ring doctor in the corner with Eric Melton checking both the nose and the eye. He may have a broken nose. Now, this will not help him in one of his professions, Joe, because he happens to be a male model. And two weeks ago in New York, he placed third in runway. Doctor says he's all right, and we're ready to go with action in round five. This is a six-rounder. Eric Melton on your screen right now, and there's Tony Rosser. 
Remember, Rosser ranked number one in the world in the lightweight division, looking for a rematch with Cliff Thomas in August of this year in El Paso. Has tried to pick up just a few pounds so he could come in here and get some work against Eric Melton, who outweighs him about five pounds. Come on, Eric. Come on. Come on, Eric. On your toes. On your toes. No, just has not been able to get in close enough to do any damage, and when he has got in close, he has not been effective. He almost ducked his head right into a jump-spinning back kick by Tony Rosser. Good left-right combination there. The right was just a little bit short as Rosser was pulling away. Double kick there by Tony Rosser. The Tiger looks very confident right now, Joe. Looks like he's got this well under control, but he'll have to watch out that he doesn't get tagged by one of those wild right hooks. Good body shots then by Rosser. He almost got a front kick in the face on the way out. Rosser had said earlier in the day that after getting up for big fights, like he had with Cliff Thomas, sometimes it's hard for him to get up for fights like this. There's no question, though, that Joe, that he needs the work. He does show a little rustiness. His timing is off just a little bit. This might be a good time for Jerry Trimble to catch Tony Rosser. Boy, Melton just walked right into that left jab. There's the bell ending round five. Rosser was talking to Melton at the end of that round and uh, some bad blood developed. I've never understood how people act like they want to get in the fight right in the middle of a PK full contact karate bat. The sixth and final round between Eric Melton in the blue and Tony Rosser in the black. Melton must sense that he's behind and looks like he wants to come in and take Rosser out. I've got Melton down by eight points myself, four points I should say, 50 to 46 at the end of five rounds. Well, these two fellows look like they're a little angry with each other right now. Hold the time. Hold the time. Time is real quick. No, that's There's cool. a loose, uh, okay, all set. There was something loose on the boot. They just pulled it off and they're right back in action. Rosser comes in with two kicks. There's Rosser showing you his foot speed, his movement, his lateral movement, first to the left, then to the right. You can also see his technique. You're not allowed to hold in PK karate, but you can see how he loops his arm over Eric Belt. A good straight left. Right jab. See the hand speed of Rosser. He's a little bit off target. Cook Convention Center, all of these fans in Memphis, the hometown boy. They're really cheering for Tony Rosser. Rosser with two bolo punches. There's the hand speed. The rust is off from Rosser. Standing eight count. A standing eight. as the referee, J.T. Will, stepped in in the last 15 seconds and gave a standing eight count to Eric Belton because Tony Rosser really was pouring it on. We'll be back for the decision in this bout in just one moment. Decision here in this bout between Tony Rosser and Eric Belton. Let's go to ring announcer Bill Elmore.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Kinney scores it 60-55. Judge Black scores it 60-56. Judge Prezion scores it 59-56. Winner by unanimous decision, Tony the International Tiger Rosser. Tony Rosser clears another hurdle in his road back to a rematch for the world crown. Let's go now to Mon